Today we will talk about adding animations and uh, sounds to our button. So let me show you something. So so this is our app. So this is our button. So as soon as you press it, you will see that nothing will happen. So uh, when you run this app on your device, you will see button is clicked and uh, you will go to the next activity but no sound will be played or no movement will be uh, will happen no animation it will just simply move to the next activity so that's kind of dull uh, today we wanna add animation so after adding this animation whenever you click the button your button will bounce it will bounce and then it will go to the next activity so it's like add adding an effect to the button similarly we will add sound to our button so whenever it is pressed a sound will be heard so let's begin so to add an animation you need to code it first so i have already coded this uh, animation uh, we will view its source code soon but uh, for now let's copy it it will be in the description below so for now let's copy it i have copied it then uh, go to your project directory and uh, go to app then uh, click the res folder then right click it go to new and click on android resource directory and uh, change the value uh, change the directory name to anim you can use any name but i prefer this name uh, leave other values as it is then press ok now we have a new directory called anim as you can see it is visible here right click it and paste it now just click ok so as you can see now we have bones.xml file into our anim folder so now that's done with so this is the coding of the bones class so it literally bounces our button so let's close it um, again to now we have added our animation file but we also need a sound which will be played so to add a sound file first uh, copy your sound whatever it will be i will i, I will be using this sound uh, you have to press copy I, i'm gonna play it so you can see how it is uh, sound so this is how it sounds it was on loop uh, so let's uh, uh, click new and go to android search directory again uh, this time uh, change this to raw and uh, leave all everything as it as it is and click ok uh, go click on this folder and uh, click paste so here it is asking for a name we don't want to change it so as you can see now it is into this file into this raw directory so now we have added our files so let's give them effect so First, I wanna give uh, our play our play button some effect. So, let's give it an animation. So we have to go to our uh, coding file. So here is our file. So first of all, to create first we will add an animation. Then we will add as a sound. So first we need the button ID. So to get the button ID, we have to we have to create an object of the button class. I am simply calling it button as you can see we need to import this so it can be used I have imported it simply uh, here as you can see it is imported now then uh, then we have to uh, get its id we can get that by using all that id dot play button so play button is its id so now we have stored this button into this button object you can give it any name so now our button is done now uh, we have to create uh, an object of animation class so what will you have to do is type animation then the name of your object whatever it is as you can see it is asking for an import uh, so i am gonna import it right now as you can see above here it is important uh, right here and then uh, you have to type uh, you have to set uh, the value of the object to animation utils as you can see it was auto imported dot load animation and then you have to give it 
the contents and the id so first i am giving it the this pointer so this refers to the current instance of the class and then i am passing it all dot anim uh, dot bounce so now we have created uh, our animation object right our animation has been uh, created now to start uh, the animation simply uh, use your button and then uh, uh, call the start animation function and pass your animation object so now right we have done it so now whenever uh, you run this app and you click this button you will see that button will bounce we have added an animation to the button so button will bounce whenever it is clicked so now an animation has been added to our button let's add uh, let's add a sound to it now so to add sound we need to create an object of the media player class so we have to use the media player class you can give any name to object but i'm gonna call it mp for now and uh, then uh, you have to give it the value of uh, uh, mean you have to use uh, the constructor of the media player class which is media player dot create then you have to pass the this pointer which is the context and then you have to pass it the directory the location which is r dot raw dot grid press so this is was our sound then you have to call the function mp dot start and boom now this is done now we have added both the animation and a sound so now whenever the user clicks this play button uh, play button uh, then uh, it will bounce and it will produce a sound before moving to the next activity so now this our this piece of code is universal so this code is universal you can add it into any class any any button for example we can add it to this start stats button let's add it why not so we have added to stats button but make sure to pass the correct id so as you can see my default my pre default id was the play button the id of the play button which is let me show you i had the id of this play button that is the play button but now i need the id of stats so the id of it is stat so simply all i have to do is replace this part by stat and everything else is still the same as you can see nothing else is changed you can do this for buttons of other activities also for example uh, you can do this for uh, a multiplayer class so as you can see here is the restart button so let's get its, its id as you can see its id is restarts so let's go to its on click method let's go to the single player on, on click method um, so the here reset here is the on click method of our uh, restart button so whenever it is clicked i will first of all i will produce this animation and this sound so as you can see i have added this piece of code but i need to give the correct button id it is still referring to the old button so uh, now i am working with this button so this is my button restart this is my button i am working with this button so i will pass id of this button which is restart so here i am passing the id of this button so now this id has been added uh, you can uh, you can uh, add this to every function every button function uh, uh, that you want so that will work out just fine uh, you can add this into the exit button so you can you can basically add this to every button function that you want so it will work out just fine now before i end this video uh, i want to show you one last thing so uh, suppose you want to produce a sound every time this grid is clicked right so you want to produce a sound whenever this any uh, function on this grid is clicked uh, i want to show you how we can do that we want to add that functionality in our uh, code right now so let's uh, do that right now 
so now we will add sound to our grid so this is the grid one so this is the grid one button this is where we will give a sound and uh, uh, you can copy paste this code into other grid functions to give them sound so here i created the a button object then the mp object of the media player class then i have uh, I have pasted it here so now every time this button is clicked a sound will be played and uh, make sure to give the correct ID in the case of button 1 I have given it button 1 since grade 1 so if you copy this code into grade 2 make sure to use the ID of button 2 so all you have to do is change the IDs the stuff will be the same also we have to use the handler class so the handler class is used to delay uh, the execution of a specific piece of code uh, for example here here uh, after uh, if a sound is played again and again you must release it otherwise it will fill your memory and uh, it may cause problems for your app so I am gonna use the release function or MP object so now it, it will be released after a specific interval so I'm gonna release it after one second and also make sure to make it final so it can be accessed inside this function so now this is done you can add this code into other grids so that's it for this last video thank you for watching